Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and we're talking Photoshop CS5. Thanks again for joining me for another episode of Adobe Tips, and I really appreciate all the feedback you guys gave me on last week's episode on using layers and keyboard shortcuts. Who knew we could cram so much information into seven minutes? I heard from some folks your heads exploded, and that's awesome, because that's what I'm going for. So this week I'm going to try and keep the tip rather short. I will try to talk a little bit slower, but let's go ahead and jump right in. Here I have this beautiful wedding moment captured by Kevin, and what I'm going to talk to you about is transforming and scaling this image. Now, I'm not going to use the image size or the canvas size command. What I want to talk to you about is using the crop tool and some of the content aware features in Photoshop. So let's go ahead. First thing I need to do is actually unlock the background layer. I'll do this by holding the Option or Alt key and double clicking. That bypasses the dialog box and I'll grab the crop tool. Now, the reason I unlocked the background layer is because when I extend the canvas with the crop tool, I don't want to see a canvas color. I actually want to have a transparent background. So I'm going to specify a width. I want to make a 10 inch pano. So I'm going to specify a width of 10 inches. I'm not worried about the height and I'm going to leave the resolution blank. This is because I don't want to change the integrity of the pixels in the image. Right? I'm not going to resample the image, I'm simply resizing it. Right? So I'm going to zoom out for a second so you can see what's going on. Let me go ahead and draw out my transformation control for the crop. I'm going to extend the canvas on the right side and now drag it on the left. We've got a nice rule of thirds guides here in CS5. And I'll hit enter or return and that commits the crop. So now I've got the cropped image, it looks pretty good, and what I need to do is just transform the happy couple. If you were to choose edit and then free transform, this would not work. As you can see, if I use free transform, this is simply stretching the couple. Right? Maybe if I counteracted by stretching them taller, I could get the right scale and dimension, but that's just not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to escape or cancel out of that, the command we're actually going to use is edit and content aware scale. That's right, I said content aware scale, not content aware fill. Don't be disappointed, content aware scale is pretty cool and you have it in CS4. Let's take a look. With content aware scale, what I'm going to do is drag this to the left. Hey, everything's looking pretty good. There's no stretching there, that's awesome. Let me go ahead and drag it to the right. Hey, it looks pretty good, and oh, wait a second. Oh, it's, um, <laughs> maybe uh, baby's got a little bit too much back. Um, it is the bride's day after all, so that transformation isn't really going to be acceptable, I don't think. So let me show you how you can protect the bride. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape once again. We're still going to use content aware skill, but here's what I need to do. You're going to grab your lasso tool. Any selection tool will do. I'm going to make a rough selection of the couple because what I'm going to do is protect an area of the photo. Okay? So this is the area of the photo that I don't want to have transformed. Right? Do not transform the happy couple, specifically the couple's dress. Now I can use my channels and I'll convert that selection into a channel. That's also the same thing as going to the select menu and choosing save selection, right? Once I've actually saved off that selection, I'll deselect and now we can use content aware scale again. So that's edit and then content aware scale. And now I've got the same prompt, but what I'll do this time is use my options for content aware scale and you can see it says protect. I'll go to the pull down. I have only one selection saved called alpha one. And now when I scale this, I can do this really fast. Look at that. There's no distortion on the couple. So I'll go ahead and hit enter or return. All right, that looks pretty good. We can see if you really look closely at the beach, there's some stretching here in the sand. If that really bothers you, this, I know what you're thinking, we're going to use content aware scale here, right? Or content aware fill? Um, no, I'm going to use the patch tool. <laughs> I'm going to grab the patch tool and if those marks in the sand really bother you, I'm just simply going to loop a couple spots. 
and drag with the patch tool. All right, grab another couple spots, drag with the patch tool. All right, and if you need to make some changes over here, you could just drag with the patch tool and clean that up. Deselect. I think that looks pretty good. I'm AJ Wood. I appreciate you being here as always. Thanks again and look forward to next week. Cheers.